someone there asked the question that they were going on vacation and they wanted to know what to do about their hummingbird feeder while they were gone because they were going to be gone for a while and what they should do. Very good question. I like that question a lot. So I figured I would do uh, the Facebook Live this week about it. Okay, we know that this time of year with these, these temperatures, that sugar water in your hummingbird feeder will go bad within about three days. Um, and if it gets a lot of sun, even two days. So we recommend changing your sugar water out regularly. So that's for a problem for people that are gonna be out of town for a week or even two weeks uh, during this time of year. What do you do with your hummingbird feeders? Well, of course, the best thing would be if you've got somebody that can change the nectar for you and keep filling the hummingbird feeder while you're gone. But if you don't, here's my recommendation. Before you leave, either just put a very small amount of sugar water in there uh, so that you know that it'll be gone in the, ne in the next couple of days or completely empty that hummingbird feeder and hang it out empty because I'd rather that hummingbird come along and stick his tongue down in there and go oh this flower has no nectar and move along to your other because probably this time of year you've got flowers blooming in your yard they're going to keep them pretty happy anyways um, but if they come along and that that sugar water has turned and it's bad, then you, have, you stand the chance of hurting your hummingbird and, and also discouraging him. So I'd much rather him think, oh no, this flower's just got no nectar, and whenever you get back, you know, fill it back up, put it out. That's what happened to me while I was gone. I was only gone for four days, but as soon as I got my sugar water, fresh sugar water back in the hummingbird feeder and hung it out, oh, it wasn't even 10 minutes, and he was already, my male was already back on my hummingbird feeder and drinking away. So it's safer for the hummingbirds, um, and it's easy for you too. So don't, you remember, this time of year, lots of flowers out there, so they're able to find them, and they're also eating some insects as well. So that's my advice if you're going on vacation, how to, you know, to keep your hummingbird feeder and not lose your hummingbirds at the same time. So. Thanks for the idea. If you like the videos, please give them a like. Oh, happy Father's Day to everybody tomorrow. Uh, until then, we'll see you next week.